श्री पवित्र श्री पवित्र जी आफ्टर दैट भाई साहब ऐसा आई नो दैट यू आर फ्रेंड ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट सो आई विल आई आई विल गेट टू एडिशनल मिनिट्स बिकॉज ऑनरेबल वाइस चेयरमैन सर इज वेरी फ्रेंडली विद द पीपल ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट एनी वे ऑनरेबल वाइस चेयरमैन सर आई एक्सटेंड माई sincere a great uh, gratitude for allowing me to uh, say a few words about uh, mm -hmm. in the support of 2024 interim budget uh, for the country as uh, so the interim budget mm -hmm. has already received uh, thumping approvals from businesses industry bodies financial experts academia media uh, and the independent observers uh, just uh, to give an idea about how experts and observers are assessing the budget Uh, these are the kind of words and phrases are being used not by me by the media and uh, academia politically savvy and fiscally prudent right dose for a knowledge economy a vision statement for the next 25 years truly a fabulous budget that has something for everyone so uh, the only negative observation that i uh, noticed came unsurprisingly from the opposition friends now it's actually for them to assess why there is uh, such a gulf between their assessment and uh, the rest of the country chairman sir i remember during the uh, phase of transition of honorable prime minister narendra modi ji's uh, first term to the second term the opposition had tried very hard to run a narrative uh, that the country's economy was faltering they were trying to tell the people of india that uh, the country's economic outlook was uh, turning grim because the bjp government was not being uh, run by an oxford educated economist the people of india summarily rejected the narrative and soon we all noticed how uh, even covid 19 uh, pandemic uh, failed to subdue india's economic surge uh, in the world even several advanced uh, economics of the world were badly hit by the pandemic but india remained the brightest spot in the world economy and we have honorable prime minister narendra modi ji's vision to thank for that uh, now coming back to the interim budget i offer my sincere gratitude, uh, gratitude to honorable finance minister nirmala sitaraman ji for presenting a budget that offers a impeccable balance between the short term economic requirement and a long term vision uh, uh, for the nation to me this interim budget has a toughness of an suv and the elegance of a limousine and the speed of a sports car so instead of uh, mindless uh, selfish and short sighted populist schemes the government has presented a road map for making india a developed nation by 2047 as the honorable prime minister stated uh, just uh, on the floor a couple of days ago his third time will truly set the foundation for the next thousand years for our bharat for me the highlight of this interim budget it's uh, is its uh, emphasis on boosting the lives of the weakest section of indian society on one hand and achieving rapid growth to make india the third largest economy in the world on the other hand two crores two crores more houses for the rural poor housing scheme for the middle class lakhpati didi scheme for three crore women direct financial assistance to 11.8 crore farmers all these measures in the interim budget demonstrate the government's commitment to improve the lives of common citizens at the same time the government government's long term vision of a developed india finds expression in a number of mega infrastructure projects that will bring transformative changes to the country so our government has increased effective capital expenditure that is the capex outlay by more than three times since 2016 and compared to upa government it is fourfold the three major economic railway corridor programs the india middle east europe economic corridor all these projects are going to be game changers for an india that is surging ahead with confidence sir as a parliamentarian from assam Uh, from the state of assam i also want to thank the opportunity to express my uh, sincere gratitude to honorable uh, pradhan mantri paramadirana narendra modi ji for his unwavering support and constant help hand holding for the economic progress of our state of assam under the double engine government of bjp the nominal state uh, gdp of assam is said to register a growth of 14.7% compared to the last financial year so the nominal uh, state gdp at current prices is likely to attain 5.6 lakh crore against 4.93 lakh crore in the last year 
and thanks to the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Team Bharat, uh, that tourism has now replaced terrorism in Assam. Earlier also I said, Ab notice me terrorism nahi hai, tourism hai. Thanks to Pradhan Mantri Adarinya Narendra Modi ji. In Assam alone, there has been uh, a 523% increase in footfall of domestic tourists. 500 pratisat se jada domestic tourist ka sankhya bar gaya hai. And the increase of foreign tourists is a hoping 783%. Sir, these figures would probably not include the political uh, tourists of Congress party who occasionally land up in the state of Assam and the Northeast. I still hope that their random trip to Assam, such as the undertaken by recently by uh, Rahul Gandhiji, would help them to witness the first hand the economy of progress that states such as Assam are making under the inspiring leadership of Modi ji. Tourism ka baat poli diya to ek hi sab, uh, ek, uh, I will submit, I want to submit one another thing, just uh, as a political tourist, the Congress party and their main leader uh, had visited Assam through, uh, they came uh, through uh, Manipur. And uh, actually, un, un logo ko akrus ka bhab lena nahi chahiye. Although, the so-called Nyayar and Nyay Jatra, did this had been a super flop show in the state of Assam. Can you imagine in a, in a, in a district headquarter where they used to get 30, 40,000 votes, when their new Maluino leader came with the Jatra, hardly 300 to 400 people gathered to welcome the prime ministerial candidate. So this is the condition. They had to cancel, schedule events one after another, sir. This is the situation. I will take 30 seconds. Sir, even when already my chief minister, Himanta Bishra Sarma ji has reiterated these things in front of media. That is, when you Ram Lala ka pran pratistha ho raha tha, Ab sochiye, tab Rahul Gandhi ji aur unka jo nyay jatre kya kar raha tha? I want to submit, I want to mention in this August thought, at that time, they were stationing in most, most sensitive areas of Assam and the Northeast where even nearly massacre took place. Irada kya tha bhai? Jab sara India ka, all the Indians, oh Hindu, Muslim, jo bhi ho, all the Indians were observing, celebrating the Pran Pratistha of Ramlala. At that time, Rahul Gandhi and his Nyay Jatra was roaming around the most sensitive areas where the majority is minority. Where majority is minority. And the, 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 the districts of Middle Assam, that is Aquinid, the district of Assam, that is Marigao and Nogao. Marigao and Nogao. Does the, the places, does the, the district of Marigao and Nogao is engulfed by the intruders of the erstwhile East Pakistan, that is present Bangladesh. Our demography is being totally changed in those districts, including Dubri and all. At that area, during the Pran Pratistha, that area he was roaming around. Why? What, what is the reason? Was, was there any conspiracy to create any bad situation there? Ab jab sara India ke 140 crore log Ram Lala ka pran pratistha mein samarpit ho raha tha, tab lekin Rahul Gandhi, Nogao, Murigao, jo hai sabse sensitive area, jidhar aage dheer sara instances of communal class, wahan kya kar raha tha? Aur, aur dekhye, aap, aap agar chhe din, aap agar chhe din Assam mein rahe, to kya kar gai? Ek bar dur se bhi ho, maha kamakha ko ek bar darsan kare ga. Lekin, his entire jatra was crossing the town of Guwahati, but he even did not look towards the mandir of Mahakamaka. Aur, even he crossed just, just 50 meters away, the samadhi of Bharat Ratna Bhupen Hazarika was there in the city of Guwahati. He even did not go there to give a floral tribute to the musical bird of Assam and notice the Bharat Ratna. There are so many satras and namghars, but he did not visit the visit the Vaisnavite uh, places of worship and culture because, because he thought that if he visits Mahakamakha temple, if he visits Satras and Namgars and Mandiris, the fundamental uh, groups whom they appease traditionally, they will be dissatisfied. Only to appease the fundamentalists, he did not go, lest they should be dissatisfied. Or if he such a 
the, although their Nyai Jatra is a super flop in the state of Assam, but, 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 although, although, although his journey was super flop, although, although the gathering was actually Sunya Ka Dhira Sakhiya Sarji, although his journey was super flop, mainstream Assamis, mainstream Hindu, Muslim, Christian, and Buddhist, Rejected their Nothing journey. Nothing and parliamentary. Rejected their Can journey. Can one after, sit down? One Nothing after, will go in record except for the speech. Another, Nothing will go in record. Another Fadir Yatra meeting. All of her has please had down. to be cancelled. Please sit down. But I must Nothing say. Nothing will go in record except for the speech. Chairman sir, I must say, like in Jidha, like Dhubri and Borgata district, जहाँ उन लोगों का घुसपैठियों का पापुलेशन ज़िदा ज़्यादा है, ज़्यादा 70-80 परसेंट घुसपैठियों का पापुलेशन है, that is the areas where the where the intruders, the aliens, are still जो अपना पूर्व पाकिस्तान से जो आया है जिसके लिए आदमी भी मरा हम लोग वो बहुत बोलेंगे, उधर लेकिन उनका गैदरिंग 200-300 से हज़ार से ज़्यादा होके 10-20 हो I must admit, the, 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 within those places of the Bangladeshi Mias, their gathering was satisfactory. Anyways, Atithi Deva Bhavo, Firaye, Aplug Anese Hamluka Bhot Thura Jada Barjata hai. We welcome Congress, Rahul Gandhi, all their Nyaya and Nyajatra to the beautiful land of Assam again. But this is karma, the rejection, the snob you are facing, this is karma. Because you killed 855 Assamese people during Assam agitation from 79 to 85. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. During Assam agitation. Can you don't talk to... Sir, can you don't talk to... This is karma. He's just... Sir, this is karma. Nothing will go and record. Congress can be go and record. Can you sit down? Can you sit down? Please, please, please. Please, house in order. Can you sit down? I am from Assam. Can you sit down? I am from Assam, I am speaking the truth. He is, he is sir, presenting his own point of view. Why sir? In your turn, you, you can speak. Why sir? Can you sit down? Congress can you sit down, please? Please, listen to me. No, 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 no. 855 people have killed these people. They have killed these people. They have killed these people. We have killed these people in Assam. They have killed these people. They have killed these people. And to appease the fundamentalists, appease the Bangladeshi people, no, no, party has they party killed has allotted time. No, 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 you cannot decide. Party has already allotted time. Secondly, no, secondly, no, our party Asuriye. has allotted time. Last, I conclude. I conclude. Last, I conclude. No, no, party has allotted time. Can you sit down? Servant, sir, I, last, I conclude. Ye hum loko kya bolta hai? We are communal. No, continue. continue. They, they, they term us as communal. Bhagwa, esa, esa. They kiss, Sarji, during their tenure. In UPA government, there, are hun there were hundreds of people who were killed by the Congress-sponsored people. Ethnic class was there, communal class was there. But today, who is Sampradayik? During the, during the, during the tenure of Narendra Modi ji, this is not the case. Not a single not instance of any communal, any ethnic class occurred in the beautiful land of Assam after Modi ji's era. ये लोग हमको कम्युनल बोलता है हजारों घर के जलाए 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 गया था तब हज सौ से अधिक लोग मारा गया था ड्यूरिंग देयर टेनियर बट असम असम में आज ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट टेन इयर्स नॉट ए सिंगल इंसिडेंट ऑफ कम्युनल कम्युनल क्लेस हैज ओकर्ड दिस इज़ ए राज धर्म राष्ट्र धर्म सो ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ पीपल � I thank again Rahul Gandhi and his party. Please welcome again to the Assam. We have nine seats out of 14. Now we're going to get 14 if he comes again. And Atithi Deva Bhava, look, aye. And on behalf of people of Assam and the Northeast, we thank Nirmala Sitaraman ji. We thank our Honorable Home Minister ji and our Honorable Param Adirinya Narendra Modi ji. Dhanyabad, joy, I aham, bande mataram. Next speaker is Sri Kamakya Prasad Tasa ji. कामाख्या प्रसाद तासा जी कामाख्या 